Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here. We're doing a little stone block and I'm hanging down here at the mob farm area just because there's been tons of loot bags and I've been opening them up one by one, which is okay, but these things are getting really full of different loot and some of the stuff I can't use at all, like the spawner seeker. It's a really cool idea, searches out the nearest spawner. It's nothing but stone. So there's no spawners, <laughs> so that's not, not an issue. Although, you know, cow in a jar, always handy. Uh, but there, there's a ton of stuff in here that I really don't need, and I'm tired of opening all these various loot bags. So I figured instead what I'd do is a little loot stuff. In fact, we're going to grab a bag storage. I should have all the bits for a bag storage. And the loot recycler and the bag opener because I'm lazy, <laughs> that's what I am. All right, so let's go ahead and move those down here. I'm gonna put the storer there because I can access it. Uh, I think I only need one hopper, but I'm gonna go ahead and, I brought two just in case I goofed. Uh, loot recycler I'm gonna put on top of here. So here, here's the, the thing with the, the, the loot bag storage. Currently stored zero. And I can cycle through the various different types of loot bags and you see how many of the, the tier one, you know, common loot bags I need to get these different uh, tiers. So, you know, legendary has got to be at least 256 times better because it takes that much work. So let's go ahead and grab all these. I don't think this or possibly that will do anything, but we'll, we'll grab everything anyway. And I'll just sit there and go store, 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 store. And that, so I've got 14 bag credits worth, and I can sit there and pull out uh, several of these. Can't pull out uh, one of those. That needs 16, 64. Okay, so that will store. Now, the other thing that I need uh, is a little bit of room. Let's go ahead and put my storage here. Doink. And I made these item translocators. Now, if we look at the recipe for that, it, it's not super expensive because, you know, I've already got the gold, I've got the iron, you know, lots of iron. Uh, redstone is problematic. I, I have half a stack, but uh, this isn't too bad for for this. And ender pearls, not nearly as bad as I thought they might be. No, let's see. Oh, won't you shift click on there? There we go. You're supposed to shift click. Uh, let's get me down a bit. And I'm going to shift click that there. And then I click that center. So that tells me it pulls from here into there. Now, the reason why I'm, I'm going with the, the translocator as opposed to a hopper, even though I've, I've got a hopper here, is because it doesn't accept everything. In fact, let's go in here and take a look. This is the engraved thunder. So shoot, let, I don't care. Uh, arrow charm. I think I've got multiple of those. I'm going to keep that, keep that, keep that. I don't care about the music discs. I don't care about that, although I can get iron out of it. Uh, piston scepter, don't care. Wing charm. Ooh, give slow fall. I kind of like that. Um, swapping paper, iron armor, don't care about the iron armor. So you can see there's some stuff that I don't care. Antidote charms. I don't need multiples of those. I don't need any of these swords. And so there's a bunch of this stuff that I don't need. So this currently has zero things in it. And I could put, see, that gave me a common bag's worth. You could see it flash in there for a split second. And this now has 15 stored in it. And click it down there. Now it has 16 stored. So I can take all this stuff and go toss it in here, it'll get cycled through there and then tossed in here and we're up to 22. And anything that doesn't go like this isn't something that will be accepted as part of the, the loot bag recycler. So you can't put crap in there. Um, you know, see birch wood slabs don't go, hoppers don't go. Uh, it just, just won't go in into those at all. And that way I can still grab this. If it were a hopper down here, I would eventually fill up the hopper as soon as I get five different item types of things that don't go um, recycle wise. So yay, I get to sit there and take a lot of the stuff that I don't care about. Like, I don't care about that TNT. There's a ton of this stuff I can process through and get extra loot bags out of here. Plus I can just dump my loot bags right in 
and that would work out very nicely. Now, the other last one here, this guy here, is the loot bag opener. So I can just toss something in, and let's toss all of those in there. So the, the bat bag, yeah. Patience. This one says, eventually it may be valuable. I'm not thinking it's going to be all that valuable, frankly. What I could do is set it up so that it will pull out and back into itself and maybe let it just kind of cycle through. Uh, that might be the, the, the easiest way to do this, although it's really fast to just toss it up there. So uh, th this will let me handle the, the loot bags, and that's a fairly compact little space. Uh, I could put that up here, because then we'd have a two by three area kind of hidden. In fact, I, I will uh, do exactly that. I'm going to pull this out before I break this, because I don't know how well it remembers its contents. There we go. That's pretty tidy. I swear I'm going to always remember to take the phone out of the room and throw it in the, the back bedroom when I'm ready to record because always stupid telemarketers are calling me on the phone that should never ring while I'm recording. Okay, rant over. Uh, for the very observant, have you noticed something different here at the base? And, and no, I'm not talking about the, the jungle tree. The grass. Yep, yep, yep. It's a different biome. This is now the desert biome as opposed to the the river and the stream hills and mingle and forest, whatever, because this is a multiplayer server and David's on the, the line right now. Yay, there's David there. Uh, my friend and uh, patron Middleclaw spun up this server and invited my patrons and friends to, to join on. And many, many thanks to him. Uh, I was able to take my world save and hand it to him and he was able to bring it in, but the biome changed. And so did my location. I'm, I'm a thousand blocks away from where I was, but I don't care because it works all the same. But I have been busy uh, in the, the meantime, while uh, since the last recording, uh, this hallway over here is new, and I've got some chickens over here, but they look like ducks, so I'm very confused. And I moved my energetic sheep over here, and they keep spawning in the base, and, and I keep moving them over here. I keep trying to keep track of how many there are, but I, I keep falling asleep. Uh, let's see, over here, got a pig and some rabbits that spawned, and a cow. And so this is a lava cow, and I already grabbed a bucket because before the uh, stupid telemarketer called. Other stuff over here. Uh, I went ahead and expanded out this area. We got four new areas here. Uh, this is going to be acquiring stuff rooms. <laughs> and so here's the area for the cows, and we have the area for the mystical crops and just, you know, crops in general. Uh, this will be my sieving and my uh, smeltery room and chickens. More on that later. But smeltery, okay. I, I don't know why I have this continual hang up on making smeltery. It's just mainly, I think, getting the, um, the, 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 Grout just drives me nuts, and I made the uh, unfired crucible, which is not hard to make. It's just this porcelain clay, which is just clay with bone meal, and I've got access to bone meal down in the mob farm. Plus, I sieved some, so that, that's not a problem. You fire it up, it's now a crucible. Now, looking at this, if I'm to use this, uh, heat sources. Uh, Typically, you start with a torch of some variety, and it's a 1x heat, but as soon as you melt down your first bucket of lava, you put that underneath, now you're triple as fast in heating it. And, uh, you know, the, what is this, the superheating element from mechanism, that's times 60, that's fantastic. Uh, having netherrack that you lit on fire, that's fantastic. The mega torch, that's fantastic. Plutonium is times 30, holy cow, but the one that wins is this, okay, here, stop scrolling, 120. <laughs> holy cow, an awakened draconium block is amazingly good. 
I don't have that. <laughs> but what I do have, oh, Questy. Uh, what, what I do have is this Eulorium block. I sieved enough that that came along, and so I said, fine, I'll put that there, and this is ready. And I put a hopper on top with a whole bunch of, of um, cobble. Yes, you can see it right there. And so it just automatically is going to just keep feeding it cobble. And so this should keep me fully full of of uh, lava, which is fantastic. I also have that that lava cow, which I definitely want to keep track of. And so for that, I'm going to come over here and this should let me get a crafting station. <laughs> crafting station. <laughs> this should get me why are you not getting this should be getting me my cobble gen cobble gen this should be giving me this cobble gen oh backwards <laughs> of course it's backwards all right let's make this yay buckets oh that's good okay so let's take this questy and let's put it over here put it right there and, and that's why i had this set up in c plus eight Plus nine, okay, went to six, compressed, plus one. So every 40 ticks, something like that, it, this will generate cobble for me and it'll just get instantly compressed up here. I love it. I think that's great. Uh, the only thing that would be better is if the smeltery fairies would come and build my smeltery for me, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, ground trap. This is Pam's Harvest Craft. Uh, put that in there and got several different bits and what's in here. Uh, bait. No, wrong bait. That bait. Uh, I think I put fruit bait. I used apples because, you know, hello, I got a lot of apples. And um, put in some of that. Did I make? No, I didn't do any of that. I don't think I did any veggies, although beets might be a good one to, to toss in here. Uh, I think I did two two bits and got all these pieces out, you know, so chicken and leather and feathers and, you know, good stuff to have. Uh, other stuff that I've done over here, there's four water and then this is the cyclic uh, automatic fishing net and it requires RF to work, which is really, really funky. And uh, down here is, I've got a hopper into this crate and so it can fill in the stuff. It takes a lot of power to run this, but fortunately I happen to have, I've got energetic wools <laughs> and all of these, you know, produce a bunch of different power. I think, which one is it that's giving me the most power? The orange. Okay, I've been holding on to the orange, but the orange is the one that gives me the most power. But I'll take the rest of them, dump them in there. You just right click on them and boom. Although right now I'm out of a fishing rod. Oh, well, I'll have to make another fishing rod. Because, you know, hey, free resources. All that's good stuff. Anyway, let's go ahead and make some grout and build us a smelt. <gasps> I do believe in fairies. Oh, this is great. Okay, and they did a good job in that it's not just boring brick it's got a whole bunch of different decorations so they win uh, yay they could have done something with the lava over here that would why why do not why not have the lava tank here instead of the smeltery could <sighs> cheap okay so uh okay won't look a gift horse in the mouth uh this smeltery drain goes works for both of these the casting table and the casting basin hoppers underneath those into my oh they gave me some bricks. Well, that's cool. Okay, because uh, one of the first things I'll probably want to do is make uh, an ingot cast, because that, that tends to be very nice to have. And then I can sit there and take a bunch of these thingy majiggers that I've got. Yeah, a bunch of this. Do I have aluminum, osmium, tin, gold, silver? I may have... Oh, no, I do have some aluminum. Okay, cool, because I think one, two, three of those and copper 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 uh one of those okay because that's if i remember it's three to one of the expensive aluminum <laughs> versus the cheap copper so let's go ahead and toss those bad boys in oh no gotta convert them first uh stack them all up stack 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 uh k k there that's kind of cool all right i don't th i should have checked i don't think that the others do anything boy that aluminum goes fast okay and um this this here these are some various doodads and what's it's that uh the mob farm produced let's put you away and i'm gonna go ahead and smelt me down a bunch of gold because 
why not free stuff? Uh, so that will give me... These will all give me... Be no, the swords don't work. <sighs> that bites. Um, that probably doesn't work either. Anyway, the, the rest of these, you get back the, the number of ingots it takes to make. So why not smelt them down and, you know, free stuff. Okay, now we've got aluminum brass, so I can sit there and, and make a pouring of this. Yay. And then this works over here. Now, the, the other thing that I have is over here I have a cow that is a cobalt. I think it's that far one. Or maybe that one. Um, and cobalt would be an excellent mining tip for my uh, pick. So I'm going to go ahead and do some upgrading. I'm going to smelt down all these things. I'm going to compact all my stuff that I've done for sieving and um, get that run through so I've got ingots. Alrighty, everything's smelted down, which is very nice. Now I've got ingots to do stuff. And yeah, this is why I have the uh, the, the stuff here, because these stinkers are really annoying. Let's kill him without killing my uh, cows. Because they're so annoying. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Go away. All right. Uh, I updated my stuff here. This now has one level of mending moss. It's got copper and cobalt. This has got uh, copper and cobalt and, oh, living wood for the, the, the centerpiece. That gives me botanical, and I can't remember exactly what botanical does, but let's stick it in here. Uh, ecological, which means it auto repairs, which is great, botanical. Oh yes, it gave me an extra modifier, which is very nice. Um, no stored XP because of the mending moss, but as soon as I start uh, digging stuff with that, I should be able to do some cool stuff. So. Uh, over here, chickens. I like resource chickens. It's an excellent mod. Uh, let's go ahead and move this up. No, no, no. Okay, uh, let's grab a chicken catcher. <laughs> that That is a very nice thing to have because when you take a chicken, put him down, still looks like a duck, and you hit, right click him. Now he becomes an item as opposed to you know a, a living creature running around uh, the other nice thing let's move you guys out of the way uh, let's come down here steal some hay uh, this is a chicken analyzer so I can figure out how the the chickens are going and you can make chicken so I'm gonna make a bone white chicken and a flint chicken and a log chicken and I'm gonna need these because they will do certain things for me uh, for example the flint and log when I combine those together oh hey let's uh, move them over to here you go out of the way boop, boop, boop. and bone white chicken flint chicken flint ch oh don't tell me you won't I have to throw it. Arr, I really don't want to throw them because that means I have to use a lot of flint and a lot of logs for that small chance of catch. Arr. Fortunately, this one works, which is great. And you can see it's 5%. And after a while, it'll be 6%. It just takes a good long time to grow. If I put some lights above, like glowstone or stuff like that, that'll speed them up. Or I can come over here and stand over it. See, it went from 6 to 8. And so it's going faster when you're over it. Although I'm not sure if I have to crouch to, you know, kind of warm it up better. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I, I can certainly do that. Oh, darn. I was going to sit there... <sighs> okay, well, uh, once you have the, uh, the, 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 the chicken's bread, and here I'm going to take, if not bread, once you have a, a chicken, you can sit there and put him into a roost, and the, the nice thing is now he'll start laying eggs, giving you feathers, things like that, and so that is really, really nice. Roost is the, the mod that I'm playing with right now. All these resource chickens are available, which is very nice but I don't want to pick them up one by one. So instead, oh, hey, come back here. I need you. Uh, instead, I'm going to go ahead and grab all these bits and I'm going to make this roost collector, which I should have all the bits now. 
Okay, it was you and you and you and you and you. There we go, Roost Collector. And we'll go ahead and put that right here. It will grab anything in a 9x9 square area centered on it. And I've got the little hopper thing, so it will spit out the, the chicken results over here. So let's go ahead and grab another. Can I? Mm. All right. Ooh. Oh, well, that, that's 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 mighty handy. I wonder if it's not a chance or if it just. OK, it looks like it's not a chance. It just works. Yay. OK, I'm going to put them in a breeder. I'm going to put the log and the flint chickens in here and they need seeds. So let's run over to here. And this is why I've got this um, area here and I'm generating tons of seeds for it. Let's see. Um, and uh, the, the seeds are so that these guys will breed. They've got to have at least two seeds in there because you got to feed them both and they will go ahead and, and breed for you uh, and they're going to either breed these their own chicken stuff or they may breed a combined and if i i was talking about um flint and log should give me a coal yeah flint log they have a chance of breeding me a coal um uh, chicken which you know hey free coal is nice and when i've done that i'm gonna take my oh here if i'm gonna talk about this i might as well uh mother hen this over here how are you doing 32 34 okay uh so coal and the no 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 the flint and log turn into coal and here let's see where's uh here let's just flint and <laughs> to show you what i'm talking about so here's the flint and if we flint to Click out. Okay, so if I hit you on this, you can cook them. Yum, delicious. But if you breed them, the the flint and log will give me coal plus sand will give me gunpowder. Oh, okay. Bone white and flint, iron. I want this. That's why I've got the the bone white chicken uh, going underneath me, because coal and iron get me steel, and with steel I can do some mechanism stuff. And I like the mechanism. Oh, iron and flint give me aluminum. Uh, flint and gunpowder give me sulfur. Eh. So uh, those, and then they will produce flint for me. So th there's tons and tons of resources you can get from these guys. And that's why I, I like having them. Plus, as because of the, the roost mod, you can have tons and tons of chickens. And they're not running around squawking. They're not moving. They're not pathfinding that's very nice. Now the, the cows over here, they're constantly, you can see they're, they're constantly moving around and, and when I get them set up to auto milk them, it's a later episode. When, when I auto milk them, they're still living entities trying to pathfind around. They're going to cause a little bit of the lag. So that's why I really, really like having chickens around. So I'm going to go ahead and let these guys breed up. <laughs> but right now these guys are 111 chickens and I've got my chicken analyzer can I no um, I'm used to having them as living entities and oh I should have uh, right clicked on them as they were living entities and that should give me an identification but as soon as they they breed together that should go ahead and give me some stats and they should hopefully, um, well, they're going to generate um, a 111. Uh, they're going to do both. No, I've got to remember again. Uh, the sand and, no, no, flint and log, they coal. That's it, coal. They make coal. The the flint and the bone, they make uh, the, the iron, which is mighty nice. So there you go. I, is this going to be fast? <laughs> no in any way sh no way shape or form uh, is this going to be fast this is going to be a, a pretty grindy thing and, and that's kind of the nature of the pack you've got the the grindy of sieving oh i i made a, a change back here that you probably noticed 
moved my sieves over here, moved my tinkering stuff over here, uh, which is which is just fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing all sorts of uh, chickeny stuff uh, in between this and the next episode. Get me a bunch of the resources that I'm really interested in. I'm probably going to have to open up the nether because I'm going to have to find me... Uh, a quartz chicken because I believe I, that's only found. I can't make it. I think I'll have to look it up. Uh, if you know, you can let me know. That would be fantastic. But uh, oh, I should be back over here. There, making that uh, egg hatch a little faster. Anyway, <laughs> this has been Grok the Duck Farmer. Having too much fun with Stone Block. It's a blast. And thanks for watching. Bye.